check out the first day of winter in central Victoria. Is it really? And so we are lucky enough today to be granted a bit of permission to enter this little quarry that we're in here. We're on the hunt for some sapphires and zircon. And so far we've found a few bits and bobs. Nothing too flash or nothing that could be cut or anything. But it feels pretty cool. Very lucky to be granted access by the kind owners of the quarry. <clears throat> it's a wicked little spot. As you can see, you might be able to tell, but this is an ancient riverbed. Riverbed. From 65 or so million years ago, I think. And it's very easy going. This is a little patch we're working. <laughs> Got little piles here, here and yonder that they've already trommeled when they've been breaking down the cement. All this is, all this gravel originally is like concrete. It's called White Hills Gravel. Look on your geological maps. And this is where we hunt a lot of the time with the gold monster on this sort of stuff, but not today. Today we're on a bit of a mission for the sapphires. Sapphires, zircon, rutilated quartz. Shake your cam. So I'll take you for a little walk. Look at those piles we were looking at from up there. Like I was saying, it's pretty easy going. Everything's basically all been Partially sieved for us. Anything else? No. I haven't done much yet. But there's some stuff. Ooh. One thing I did forget today was the tripod. Here's some of what we're chasing, although nothing blue yet. There was one little one earlier. I don't think it's in the hand, but we're not sure whether it's either yellow sapphire or zircon. We're sure it's pretty. Very easy digging. About the easiest I've done. <laughs> yeah. Focus camera. Well, that was a bit more short lived than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. But the reason that I really wanted to share all this with you is because these ancient upper level gravel riverbeds that have a lot of the time been mined out by the old timers or worked out like quarries like this one has can be very rich sources of all sorts of really good things. And all you need to do is follow your geological maps and read your little thing down the side where it describes each rock type. And that will lead you to a lot of this sort of stuff. I think it's tertiary period, I think this stuff is. If you look it up on your maps, and you find these little patches, they're usually up on top of hills. Everything else is washed out around it, washed away around them. But this cement here is literally cement. It's like concrete. 
and he's survived whilst everything else is washed away. A lot of the time, these can be really easy spots to duck into. You don't really need a special vehicle to access them or anything like that. They're oftentimes right under the nose of towns. And yeah, they can be a fun little source of all sorts of shiny things. So get on your maps and have a squeeze.